Okay, today I'm going to show you how to share a directory and files in Ubuntu 21.04 because it isn't as simple as it seems. So let's take a look at what we have access to in Ubuntu 21.04. Let's just try this out. So we'll create a new directory called shared folder. And we'll drop a couple of files into there. So there's our files. Now, if you wanted to share this file, intuitively you would right click and you would go to properties. You'd locate the local network share tab and you'd say share this folder. Now it's going to ask you to install a service. The service is called Samba. So yes, install the service. We can see what it's going to install. Okay, so it's going to install the Samba service. It's going to ask for a password. And off it goes. So once the service is installed, you would imagine you click on create share and that would be the end of it, but it isn't. So let's just take a look here at what we have. So let's, so let's find out what our IP address is. Okay, so we are at this IP address here. So if I go to my Windows box and I type in the IP address, two backslashes and the IP address, I get this directory and it requests my username and password. So let's put in our username and password. Hmm, strange, it won't let us. Let's just retype it, make sure we got our password correct. Still won't let us. Maybe there's something wrong with our username. So let's try with a dot slash for a local user. And we still don't have access. So there's more configuration when setting up a share in Ubuntu. I wish it was easier and I wish there was a way that we don't need to go to command line to do this. But part of the Linux experience is command line. So let's take a look at what we need to do. So realistically, all we need to do to get the share to work is to add our user to the Samba service. It's super easy to do that. Okay, so sudo smb passwd dash a to add a user and the user we want to add. Tech works. It's going to ask for our password. Then it's going to ask for a password to specifically use with the share. This can be different than your login credentials that you log into Ubuntu with, or it could be the same. So I'm going to create mine the same. And mind you, if you change your password to log into Ubuntu, it will not change this password to log into your user share. I'm going to create mine the same. And that should be it. So let's go over to our Windows machine and see if it works. Okay, so here's our Windows machine. We still are trying to enter the credentials. Let's just click OK. And there we have it. There's our documents. We should be able to open those up. And we are. We should be able to edit them too. So this is the edited version. We'll save it. Just by clicking save up there. We'll close it. And let's go check it out on our Ubuntu system. Okay, so here we are back on our Ubuntu system. We'll open up shared folder. Here's our document. And we can see that it was modified at 1612 and it is 1612. 
Let's open it up and see what we have. And there's our edited version. So in order to share in Ubuntu at the very bare minimum, you need to add your user to the Samba service. Now to take this a little bit further, we should add some additional parameters to the Samba service configuration file. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. We will configure a Samba share with better security and better profile. And we'll look at how to get that done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.